Hi, I'm Eric and welcome to my garage. Hey everybody, welcome back, guitar enthusiasts. Um, we've been working on Blues Master number 12. This is actually the, the uh, second Blues Master, but the 12th guitar. Uh, what I've been up to with this, I've routed all the pockets for the pickups. I've uh, done the bridge holes and the back side. This can be a string through type Telecaster type bot, uh, bridge going on there. And today, I'm going to route a nice channel around the upper top here edge. We're going to do a install a black binding. So let's get started. Okay, so far what I've done with this, we've got the, the body basically just about done here. Um, I've routed all the uh, pickup routes. I've done all the uh, holes, necessary holes for the uh, bridge. It's going to be a, a real nice uh, Telecaster style bridge I had made out of 360 brass alloy. Really cool stuff. Flip around the back side here. And then we're gonna we'll, we'll put our uh, string ferrules in here when the body's all finished and everything. Um, I've also done all the necessary. I don't know if you can see that. I've done all the holes, wiring holes for, for all the ground wires and all the pickup wires and everything. And uh, we're gonna run this over to the router table here, and I'm gonna route a nice channel around here for some quarter-inch black binding. It's gonna set the uh, GM Seafoam Green off very nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to route a nice quarter inch channel around the whole circumference of this body and we're going to install the binding. So let's get started. Okay, what I just did here is I did a nice channel here that the binding is going to go in. So I'm going to clean, I'm going to take some like 400 grit, 320, 400 grit, just clean all this fuzz up around the edge and then prep this for binding. And that's that. A little naphtha on a rag here. I'm going to wipe, wipe the channel real good. Cleans the wood, leaves a leaves nothing, no grease, no dirt, no sawdust. Just cleans it, cleans the wood really good, preps it for that glue. Just wipe that real nice. The nice thing about the nap that doesn't leave a film, so it works real well. Okay, what I'm gonna do next now is what I do with the binding because it's it's smooth, it's too smooth. So you gotta rough it up a little bit. So I take some of this 220 and just take the inside. I run it along. We rough it up. So that way the glue sticks a lot better to ensure a nice adhesion. Good prep work ensures good results in the end. Uh, we're using, I'm using the 220 grit. It's not too aggressive, it just scuffs it up enough. This plastic's just too smooth. It's going to look really nice. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, so I got special tape here from Stuart McDonald. Almost looks like, like an old brown packaging tape. Um, it tears real easy side to side, like you're going to rip it off like this, but it's real strong this way. It doesn't flex, so that's what you want to hold this binding for, you know, 12 to 24 hours and so it doesn't come loose at all. Basically, I'm staging tape 
here so when I get this binding glued down to the channel I can grab a piece and, and tape it over, grab a piece and tape it over so we're not fumbling around for tape. <laughs> okay so I'm going to start gluing this binding on. Start out with a little bit of glue around here. I don't really worry about getting any excess in, you know, on the other wood because what, what I'm going to do is scrape this off the next day anyways. So. We're going to get it on there. Grab some tape. Pull tight. All the way around, you just gotta you just pull tight. If it's not tight, it ain't right. <laughs> Basically what this cement does, it welds itself into the plastic. It's amazing. It's good stuff, man. You see how quickly I've gone through the tape. <laughs> They get a little tricky. You gotta sometimes on these corners they get a little tricky and you gotta you gotta work with them. You just gotta be patient. Sometimes they like to they like to lift. Sometimes you have to do some some re-gluing. But it's okay. All is not lost. So what I do is cut off the end there. That's done. Hey everybody, so what I've done today is uh, we've routed the channel for the binding and I've installed the binding and we're going to let it dry overnight. Then I'll remove all the tape probably tomorrow and we'll have to scrape everything and sand it and blend it real good. Um, and thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. And uh, please subscribe to our channel and like us as well. All right, everybody have a good day now. See you next time.